Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and you can see my cooking area is in back of me, so that means that I'm going to do a cooking video. And this is a recipe I put together because with all this baking, and I know a lot of us are doing that right now, I can only eat so many sweets before I start to gain a lot of weight, and I shouldn't really be eating a lot of sugars anyway. So I made this recipe for an apple tart, and it has no white sugar, it has no uh, white flour, um, it has some sweeteners in it, but most of it is monk fruit, so it's low on the sugar, and I've added some things to make it really high on the flavor. So let me just show you how I make this, and the recipe is down below in the description box. So let's get started. Okay, first I'm going to make my almond flour crust. So that's one and a half cups of almond flour, and I like the one that is not really too coarse. So there's that. I'm going to add one teaspoon of oil. I use olive oil. I don't mind the taste of olive oil. And it's compatible with the apples. And this is going to be one egg white. Quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. It's amazing how sweet this is on its own. And if you're making something that you want to cut down on the sweetness and calories, that's why I made this recipe to begin with. So I'm just going to mix this up until it's kind of coarse. You don't even have to roll this out. I don't think it would even roll out because it's not a flour that can have the, the glutens hold it together to make it sticky and stretchy. So we're going to push this into a tart pan. I'm just mixing this until it holds together like that. It's like a paste. So it takes time to push it into the tart pan, but what I do is flatten this into the lattice pancake that I can make first with my hands. I use my thumb to push in the edges so it doesn't crack as much. Put this in the middle, just start pushing it toward the edge. I've already coated this with some non-stick spray. I'm trying to get this as thin as possible. This pen is 11 inches in diameter. It really does force you to make a real thin crust, which is good because this uh, almond crust tends to be a little firm. So if you just have a little bit, it works just fine to keep the apples inside it once it's cooked. And don't forget to push in the corners right here because there's a lot of dough that congregates right there. So you have enough for the sides. I'm not going to go up all the way to the top. I can worry about the bottom after I get the tops up. I love to bake, but I have to watch my blood sugar. So this ends up being a great dessert with a whole lot less sugar in it. I'm going to 
use my paring knife to peel three big Granny Smith apples. I used to help my mom in the kitchen and had a lot of practice peeling apples and I always tried to see if I could peel an apple completely with one continuous peel. And I just imagine being a an apple peel machine and just turning the apple with one hand while I keep a steady pressure on the knife. But you don't want to watch me peel apples all day long, so let's skip ahead to what I do once I have these peeled. Once the apples are peeled, I'm just going to cut them in quarters. Take the, it's easier to take the stem pieces out of there when they're quartered. And I take the seeds out. Some tough, there's some tough pieces in that core that you want to get out of there. And then I slice them. Probably about an eighth of an inch thick. I've been soaking these apples in a little bit of salted water and it keeps it from turning brown. You can use lemon juice as well. And we'll skip this slicing part. Bring you back. So here are my apples. I'm going to add the juice of one lemon. Toss that up a little first. So just stir that lemon juice in there with the apples, making sure that they get separated a little bit so that that juice can get to them all. This is a quarter cup of monk fruit sweetener. And this is vanilla, about a teaspoon and a half tablespoon of Cointreau for a nice little orangey flavor. And a quarter teaspoon of salt just to bring the flavor out a little more. And my oven's warming to 350 degrees. Okay, I'm ready to put this into the uncooked crust. So I'm going to add about a half cup of applesauce to the crust first. Just need to make a nice thin layer of that on the bottom. And this is where I like to take my time to put the apples in a nice spiral. This makes me feel good.
So this is ready for the oven. I'm going to cook this at 350 for about an hour. And just toward the end of that, I'm going to glaze it with some apricot um, preserve with a little bit of water. And I'm going to brush that on and cook it a little bit more. I'm going to brush some orange marmalade on top. Because of the monk fruit sweetener, it doesn't really caramelize on top, so you got to add just a little bit of something sweet like this at the end. Give it some color and shine. Okay, we'll let this cool and then cut into it. So let's try this. Mmm. It's got so much flavor in it without a lot of sugar. Most of the sweetness is from the monk fruit and the half tablespoon of Cointreau and some of the preserves that I brushed on top and very little sugar. So I think you'll like this, it's very delicious. I'll put the recipe down below in the description box. Thanks for watching.